Hello Internet folk and hello to fans of the basic programming language. Uh, just want to show you how you can get your own uh, copy of basic anywhere machine and download it and, and running locally on your own computer. Uh, something that some folk may not quite understand is that basic anywhere machine is not a basic uh, that lives on the web it's a basic that lives in a web browser and the difference there is that whether your browser is well if it exists on the web you have to have an online connection basic anywhere machine lives in your web browser and it runs whether you have a, 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 a connection to the web or not it's meant to run offline as well as online uh, it's a single HTML file it doesn't need any web servers or anything on the web to run uh, on your machine and that's what makes uh, basic anywhere machine so portable it just needs a web browser it doesn't uh, reference any JavaScript libraries on the web or anything like that it's a fully self-contained a fully self-contained HTML file uh, now let's uh, let's go over to uh, basic anywhere machine and let's bring up the IDE and uh, the the way to bring this to your own computer is to press this little save button that's in the, in the top left corner when you press the save button right away uh, basic anywhere machine knows while well, it can't save to this website and this is the equivalent of a save as so if you were using Windows software or whatever else it's not a, a save and replace button it's a save as button so it gives you an opportunity to pick a folder and give a file name and all that business so let's press this uh, save button and see what happens and right away the web browser brings a save file as window and says okay well where do you want to save it what name do you want to give it so I'm just going to pick uh, this SD card that's on my computer and leave it with the name BAM ID and just save that and uh, let's bring up my folder and let's go find that file and there it is and uh, now that it's there I can right click on it your case you can probably just double click on it in my case HTML files I have to choose what I want to do with it because that's how I've set things up I want to choose to open it with the web browser and now I've got let's bring these up side by each I've got my local copy and I've got the version that's running uh, that's hosted on, on uh, my Neo Cities website and you can tell, here's my local copy and if I want to, uh, for example, create a brand new program a new hello world program now that I've got a save button, let's not forget this is a save as so when I press it, again it asks me where I want to save it in this particular case, uh, if I want to keep archived versions of my basic anywhere machine, I could give it a different name in this particular case, I could we'll find the previously saved one click it and overwrite it and ask me if it already exists, yeah, 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 replace it and off it goes so that's how to get a version of the basic anywhere machine downloaded to your own computer whether you want to put it on a thumb drive or SD card or on your hard drive uh, on your computer's hard drive whether you want to host this on some file hosting service on the web uh, like Dropbox or Google Drive any of these things, wherever you want to put it, wherever suits you. In my case, uh, yeah, okay, I, I run this version that's uh, hosted on Neo Cities often enough, but I keep my own personal version that I work on in Google Drive because that's where that's where my files live. And now, there's one button that's for save, and that's to actually save to media or save to a drive somewhere. And what's this little save button here for? this is all these are buttons that come from tiddlywiki and um, as about we bring up tiddlywiki just to show you the buttons in the native tiddlywiki interface so let's go to tiddlywiki.com and let's maximize the screen for a second and uh, the default interface doesn't show us all the buttons but let's pretend we're going to enter a brand new tiddler here and see this little check mark button that's the save tiddler button and that's what we're seeing over in uh, basic anywhere machine this is the save tiddler button 
all of the basic programs in, in uh, basic anywhere machine live in what are called tiddlers. We, we call them wiki pages in Wikipedia. Uh, that's where they live. All in this one HTML file that you save with this leftmost button right here to your hard drive or wherever else. So let's say we're entering a brand new tiddler and some sample text. And when we're done working with this tiddler in what's called draft mode, and we want to commit these changes, okay, press save. And what this does is just takes that tiddler out of draft mode and commits the changes that we made to it to uh, the web browser. Now, if we're happy with all the work we've done over however much time that this did wiki at one point, we'll press the save button, and this is the save as whatever file name to your hard drive or wherever else. There are other save, uh, there are other mechanisms you can add to TiddlyWiki. You can visit the TiddlyWiki website sometime and see what's involved. Uh, for different operating systems and different web browsers, there are different ways of saving such that this button uh, works as a save button instead of a save as button. So as soon as you press it, it just overwrites your previous version. But it needs some extra help. And you'll, you can visit this website sometime and check for yourself to see what the options are. Different options for different operating systems and different browsers. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. And let's move this over. And that's all I wanted to show you was just uh, these two save buttons, the difference between them, and how to get a version of Basic Anywhere Machine to your local machine. Now, at some point, I'm going to have to go into a bit of a more in depth video to show you how to um, upgrade your Basic Anywhere Machine instance that's on your hard drive or wherever else. Whenever I make changes to the one that I'm hosting online, try to show you how you can upgrade from one version to the other. It's a manual process at the moment, uh, hoping that someday I can have a nice little automated process that makes it easy peasy. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye.